another normal summer day. As the rising sun cast a rosy hue across the morning sky, my family and I were all packed up in the car, driving towards the beach. The night's not over for a while, so what's the point of you leaving? It was my sister's birthday. We wanted to go low-key and settle for someplace simple. In other words, we were finding an excuse to get out of our stuffy house and soak our travel deficient footsies in the warm, golden sand. And we knew just where to go. See you next weekend. Riverside Beach Resort, located in Oton, Iloilo. The place is reminiscent of a resort in the olden days. Nothing too fancy, just clean cottage huts, coconut trees, and of course, the beach. We've had many celebrations here in the past. Reunions, graduation parties, you name it. But we mostly come here to loosen up and unwind. However, with all the occurrences nowadays, specifically the global pandemic which has affected billions across the world, it has been a little difficult to quote-unquote sit back and relax. But an opportunity to travel came by, and we just couldn't resist. We really needed a break. My family and I did normal beach stuff. Swimming, having picnics, eating, playing volleyball, looking for seashells, eating again, building sand castles, burying each other under the sand, eating, having barbecues, etc. Did I mention eating? Anyway, looking back, this trip immensely helped us, both physically and mentally. I can say that with this shared experience, our bond has grown stronger than ever. For the first time in months, we weren't screeching our throats off at each other or slamming doors so hard that the knob snaps into two. For the first time since the pandemic started, we talked. Talked about how badly these current events affected us. We've been in denial for so long and pretended that everything was alright, but the truth is, it's not. And that's okay. We believed that grief shrinks over time, but what really happens is that we grow around it. And this trip helped us do that. At the end of the day, it's crystal clear that communication is key. It is being vulnerable and honest. And unfortunately, instead of accepting things for what they are, we decided to shun the truth and keep our feelings to ourselves in an attempt to block out any pain or disappointment instead of sharing our grief with each other and getting through the problem together. Communication isn't just about expressing our thoughts. It involves listening effectively as well. As Marvin J. Ashton once said, proper communication will always be a main ingredient for building family solidarity and permanence.